I wanna share with you the number one thing a business coach looks at to help any company truly succeed. One of the major challenges that nine out of 10 businesses have is they've started their company from the ground up and they don't have a real culture that they love. They have the product, they have the people, they maybe might have some systems and procedures in place, but a lot of people have no idea how to create a great culture. What do I mean by culture? It's like the vibe of the organization. It's the attitude of the business and it's also the attitude of the people. Tell me if you've seen this before. You've gone into a business and you've seen some people working inside the business and they're not really having a good time. They're not bringing their best. They look like they're just kind of, they've just got a job. It's just a means to an end. When you go into an organization like that, how do you feel? Does that encourage you to spend more money? Or do you think, well, no one really cares inside this organization. I'm sure you've seen that before. I've worked in places like that. And so to flip it, what about when you go into an environment, you go into a business and people look at you in the eyes. They remember your name. They share with you that they care about you. You're more than just a customer. You meet people who are passionate about their work. They care about their job. Now this can be applied to anything from a call center to a shoe company, to a retail store, it can be applied to absolutely anything, is do they understand how to build a successful culture? Now, one of the major keys to a successful business culture is being able to have a set of guiding principles or values for any organization. Values are like a compass. They enable us to make decisions within the company. Really important decisions like who do you hire? So many people have major challenges with recruitment because they don't have a set of principles to hire people or fire people on. And as a result of that, what happens is everyone comes along with their own set of guiding principles, with their own set of values. And when that happens in an organization, that's where you get things like clicks. Do you know what I mean? Where you get like teams that are against each other and you get like the water cooler gossip and people start to, they stop working because there's drama now in the organization. That's very dysfunctional. That's gonna take away from any organization's true success. And so one of the ways to create a culture where you're going to attract people in the organization, it's all about attracting high performance, attracting people that are passionate about their work, that wanna come into your organization so they can do the best. Now this is applicable to you if you are a team leader, if you're a business owner, or if you're a business coach yourself and you're in the work of helping organizations with this. You wanna get clarity on how you can help a business create their own list of values. Now it's not just about having a set of principles or values, doing a day where we get everyone together and then sticking them on the wall and then great, we've set the values, off we go back to the normal way that we do work. And a lot of companies do that. They go, yeah, we've got values, but the question is, how are you bringing those values to life? Do people live them? Do people embody them? Does everyone in your organization know the values? Do they breathe the values? Do they use them as decision-making criteria? That is what's going to create a culture that thrives, where people can care, where people can bring their passion, and ultimately where they can bring their own creativity. An organization that encourages creativity encourages problem solving. That, that increases growth, which is so important to any business. So if you found value in this video, I wanna encourage you to go ahead and click the link below. You'll head over to another page where I'd love to tell you about a live global broadcast we're running, all about how you can become a business coach, where you can help any organization take their business from good to great through learning how to have a values-based business and so much more. Go ahead and click the link below. I hope to see you on the other side.